Hey, what's up guys? Axel Toss here. Um, just wanted to make a quick kind of vlog type video. I've done a couple vlogs in the past and I kind of want to keep doing them. So uh, just the main purpose of this is kind of update y'all on maybe what I'm working on for those of you who care, I guess, or those of you who are on the YouTube channel. Um, and remember, feel free to put any comments down below if you have any questions or whatever. Uh, should be on youtube.com slash axeltosssc. That's where I'm trying to put it. So make sure you watch and subscribe if you feel like it. And then if you have any requests, throw them my way and I'll see what I can do. Um, that being said, yeah, okay, cool. cool. So what do I want to talk about? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know where I left off. I don't know <laughs> what y'all necessarily know if you follow me on Twitter or whatever what, or what's been kind of going on. Um, right now I am in the process. Obviously, it's summer. It's July 29th, 2014. My name's Axel Toss. If you haven't seen me before, uh, caster, I'm really involved in the esports scene. A lot of cool stuff has been happening recently as far as opportunities and whatnot. Um, I don't even, what do I want to talk about here? I get Axel Toss, why don't you plan it? I don't plan, sometimes I don't plan. Sometimes I'm just me. Sometimes I just turn on the camera and just want to talk. Is that okay? Hopefully that's okay because that's what I'm doing. So I guess we'll start with my background and where I am right now. That makes the most sense. Setting, right? Setting makes sense. Yeah. So. Training, CSN training camp. I'm in the studio right now recording this, uh, having some fun on Wednesday. Um, that's a big project I've been working on recently, CSN training camp featuring Polt and Violet kind of reality show. We have two trailers up right now. Been working super hot on that. We've recorded a lot of it, and now we're just working on post-production. So there's some behind-the-scenes info for you. Um, really excited about it. I want to maybe establish some goals really quick about the training camp. Uh, obviously, we have Polt and Violet, and we want to hit a lot of the StarCraft II players and, and hit a lot of the StarCraft II space as far as help people kind of get involved and get to know Polt and Violet a little bit more, help them learn a little, a little bit more about the game. And, of course, the StarCraft fans, as they watch that, they learn a bit more about the game too, and they get better. Um, that's one purpose. Another purpose is trying to get a, a, an inside look at two professional players in the StarCraft II scene, right? So Polt and Violet... You know, obviously the StarCraft II players, we know a lot about that, but what about the stuff we don't know about? So we're going to try to dive deep into kind of the storylines behind Polt and Violet. That's going to be a big feature of the show. Uh, it's, it's really an exciting project, and of course, something I'm really trying to make happen is um, I really want this show to be kind of a, a good, something that's really good to share, right? Because, we're, we're, you know, we, we understand each other as far as our quote-unquote love for StarCraft II, quote-unquote love for video games, or the scene surrounding it, or, you know, what it has done for us. But a lot of people on the outside looking in, you know, they, they see that, they might not necessarily understand it. So a really cool purpose of this show that I'm trying to make happen, it's a huge challenge, is making it shareable so that maybe a parent or a friend can check out this show and kind of understand a little bit more about not only the life of professional gamers, not only the StarCraft II scene, but kind of, um, you know... It, Telling a bit of the story about the attachment that we have towards the scene and towards the game. Uh, so some storylines there displaying kind of some of the, I guess, passions involved with the people participating in the CSN training camp, the people selected to be on the reality shows and whatnot, and to also give people a glimpse of, you know, kind of the StarCraft II scene as a whole, kind of a bigger picture type thing. So that's a goal there too. Also, um, I think that's all I really want to tease about it. I don't want to spoil too much, but... There's a lot of thought going into it. It's a lot of fun. Look out for it in September, late August. We'll see. We're working on it. It's a lot of fun. So yeah, it's CSN Training Camp. Working on that right now. Um, otherwise, I've been doing some traveling recently. Specifically, I did Red Bull Battlegrounds in Atlanta. That was a lot of fun. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia right now. I'm living with Polton Violet in CSN Training Camp house. You know, there's a house here, living there, working on the project. Um, Red Bull Battlegrounds. That was a lot of fun. I don't know if I vlog I didn't vlog beyond that. But let's talk about Red Bull Battlegrounds a little bit. I met a lot of cool people there. The Atlanta scene is actually really cool. I feel like a lot of other cities can learn from the Atlanta scene. They got Georgia Tech that has like one of the biggest esports kind of organizations that and they're actually throwing a, a charity land, which is really cool. It's, I think it's called Land Fest. So look it up. That's coming up September thirteenth. And that's super cool to see. I met a lot of people behind that, really passionate people. Uh that was super cool. Also want to give a shout out to Battle and Brew. That's a local brewery. Like uh, you can go there, eat awesome food, and drink craft beer, and watch StarCraft two streams, and play video games, and meet people. Really cool initiative. Really cool place. And I feel like something like that can be relevant in multiple cities everywhere in the United States. So super cool seeing that in Atlanta. Um, and all of all, I met all these people at Red Bull and, and was involved with all of this. I thought the actual event was fantastic. I thought it was great. It was a lot of fun. Uh, a couple things that come to mind were. Just the 
the openness to kind of newer players. Like we had diamond players getting two hundred dollars, stuff like that. Trying to Red Bulls, I feel like they're really trying hard to to open up the space a little bit and help uh, more people be able to kind of try it out. Because obviously, there's you know I don't want to get into a huge discussion here, but that there's that separation between the the entry level, the people who play for fun, and then the professional level, right? And then there's that big gap in between where it's hard for a person who's trying to be a little bit serious to reach that pro player because either A, you're, you're, you're not necessarily good enough to make any money, or B, you're making all the money, right? So in order to close that gap a little bit, I think Red Bull is trying this um, as far as, you know, making a nice prize pool layout so that North American players who aren't necessarily at the top level where the Koreans are to make a bunch of money, they can still have an opportunity to try their hand at the game, try their hand at being professional, and go to the Red Bull events and participate. So really awesome seeing Red Bull involved with it, and it was super fun working with them. Uh, I was on the second as uh, the secondary stream Friday. was like, oh my god, it was so tough. I think I was casting for like 10 or 11 hours straight. Uh, but I had a ton of fun, and I invited a lot of people on the cast, met a lot of cool people, and... You know, just 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 had a great time on the second stream. I was able to cast a mainstream game uh, with with day nine on Sunday, and that was a, that was a ton of fun. Um, the game was and it was a great game. It was Huck versus Tudming. So if you're looking for a game to watch, maybe go check that one out. It was the best of three. It went all the way to three games. Hopefully, I'm not. I guess I'm spoiling a little bit, but definitely check it out. That was a lot of fun casting that on the main stage. On uh, the main stage with Sean. That was Atlanta. Um, after Atlanta. Spent some time here, or after Red Bull, spent some time here in Atlanta, kind of, you know, working on the training camp some more, working on some little side projects I have. And then I actually went to Comic-Con. So Comic-Con was in San Diego. That was this past weekend. Oh, it was a good event. It was fun. It was fun. I met a lot of really cool people, which is what I love about events, just meeting cool people, trading ideas, and just getting a sense of, of, of all the different people that are in the scene in the space. And, you know, we have similar interests, so we have, we have cool conversations. And, you know, it was, it was Comic-Con, right? Over 100,000 people were there. I, I was in a hotel in the Gaslamp District of San Diego. It was my first time in San Diego, so I got a really cool glimpse of, of kind of that city. I love exploring new cities when I go to new cities and, and just seeing everything that's around. So that was a lot of fun. And then Comic-Con as a whole, I only went in the convention center uh, once the final day. spent like an hour in there exploring. It was like completely overwhelming. So many people and so many booths, so much stuff to do, obviously, but I was like super tired on Sunday because I'd been working all weekend, so I didn't spend a lot of time exploring. I was looking for famous people for sure, didn't didn't have a chance to meet any famous people, unfortunately. One day, one day, famous people, we're going to have a conversation, and we're going to talk, and, I'm, and we're going to talk. That's going to happen. I'm talking to you, famous person who's watching this, yes, it'll happen. Um, anyway... <laughs> As far as the event is concerned, Comic-Con, it was a lot of fun. Ubisoft brought me out there, so thank you, Ubisoft. You're awesome. Um, to, to commentate uh, the Assassin's Creed experience, which was an obstacle course, kind of like, like Ninja Warrior or like MXC. Uh, so it was, it was me, Rachel uh, Seltzer, Rachel, a.k.a. Seltzer, um, Crystal, a.k.a. Siren, and Shidosha. And of course, I get to meet all these cool people, so that was fun. So basically, it was us. We we didn't we didn't went in pairs of twos, uh, and we just casted these people running an amazing obstacle course. And it was a lot of fun. I'm sure there's videos out there kind of showing uh, the obstacle course and all that entailed. So definitely try to check those out. There wasn't a live stream or anything, but um, I just stood there in the sun in San Diego. So I'm a little bit sunburnt. I don't know if you can tell my nose is burnt. Sorry, right. I'm peeling a little bit, like I'm a snake and I'm shedding my skin. Um, but you know, that was a lot of fun casting that commentating some parkour action. And I still, mem I still have all this stuff memorized. So it's like, it's like haunting me a little bit. Uh, there's the elevation onto the rooftop vaults, then the swing arm jump. Then there was, um, the gauntlet where the cannonballs are coming from side to side, trying to knock you off the course onto the rope swing into elevation, which is one of the most difficult where you have to go from ring to ring leading to the spinning barrel that you had to run across, and then you hit the red button for total victory, and then beyond that was the leap of faith. So basically it was just me say, doing that stuff, making it exciting for like uh, four hours every day. It was a lot of fun. The line was infinitely long. We had probably like a thou over a thousand people run the course each day. On Saturday, we had someone waiting since 5 a.m. for the open at 10 a.m. to run the course, so that was really cool to see. It was a huge hit. Uh, and it was all kind of promoting Assassin's Creed Unity, which comes out October 28th. I, I know, I remember all the lingo, which you could have pre-ordered and got a free t-shirt. Um, memorized all that stuff. But it was a lot of fun. So Ubisoft Assassin's Creed Unity. I guess I feel obligated to tell you all to check it out. Looks like a pretty cool game. Comes out October 28th. Um, so yeah, that was my experience at Comic-Con. And of course, it's really busy. Um, 
have an idea as far as esports events are concerned. Let's make Monday just the relaxing day where we can enjoy company and just hang out. And maybe the parties are on Monday in a sense. Why not? We can do what we want because what ends up happening is we're all working Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and everyone travels Monday. So we never actually get to hang out. So um, let's make Monday a free day and let's make Tuesday travel day. Deal? Deal. Good work. Okay. So it was fun. I didn't get to hang out with as many like... You know, obviously, there's so many people at these events you want to hang out with everyone, but, like, time is such a limiting factor. So, um, let's make Monday free and Tuesday a travel day. Good idea? Good idea. Okay, so that was Comic-Con. That was a lot of fun. Who else did I meet? Shidosha, he's a funny dude. Um, we, we, you know, he's a commentator for the fighting game scene. I don't know if you know that. Um, you know, he was vlogging a little bit. We traded some commentary, you know, techniques with each other. Just a happy guy. Loves having fun. Uh, of course, Rachel, a really good friend of mine. It was really fun commentating with her. Crystal, I met a lot of the frag dolls. They were really cool. A lot of really, um, a lot of people, it, just a lot of good conversations about kind of the esports space and, and what we're all trying to accomplish in a sense. And, and you know, having a lot of good conversations too is, is that's the best part of those events. So that was really cool. Yeah, so that was this past weekend Comic Con, and now I get to breathe a little bit. I get to breathe. Um, it is what's today? Wednesday? It is Wednesday? No, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Yes. So breathing a little bit. It's Tuesday. Catching up on some emails. Um, you know, obviously tomorrow's Wednesday, and then Thursday, I'm actually leaving for Boston. I'm leaving for Boston where I'm gonna be doing some Infinite Crisis stuff. Um, it's their monthly final, so be sure to check that out. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Y'all remember Nick, Nick Ranish, Axlav. So I'm gonna go cast some Infinite Crisis with him. I, I can't wait, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Infinite Crisis, I've actually, it's actually a really fun game um, where you can play as your favorite superhero. I'm really good at Gaslight Batman, by the way. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go cast that in Boston. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Then I'm coming back, and then I'm actually gonna go on a vacation of sorts. Uh, something I do every year is around my birthday, around my birthday, which is August 13th, remember it, remember August 13th, it's my birthday, yes, um, I'm actually going to Canada to go hiking and camping, I'm a really outdoorsy guy, I love going outside, I was, you know, I was a runner uh, growing up, I spent two weeks in Park City, Utah, running around in the mountains with my cross-country team in high school, that was a ton of fun, and then, you know, I, I was always an outdoorsy guy, so I try to, I try to make it a point to, to kind of get out sometimes and, and go camping and me and my cousin we're, we're kind of creating a tradition where we we go out in the mountains and just camp and just have a good time so that that's coming up we're gonna hike in uh Jaribaldi park in vancouver black tusk if any of y'all know what that is that's where we're going it's gonna be super sick yeah so that's that's my august that's that's what august is gonna look like and then red bull what am i allowed to say okay i don't want to spoil anything beyond that uh, but got a lot of stuff in the pipelines. Okay, I'll talk about some personal projects that I'm working on too. So I want to create some shows. Shows! Showtime. Stay tuned on that. I'm looking to the side because this is where this is where I write all my ideas for shows and stuff. Um, I want to make some shows. I want to make some shows. I feel like there's space for shows and I feel like there's room for awesomeness to be made. Specifically, um, how deep do I want to pitch this? I have a lot of ideas. I've traded a lot of ideas to make these shows. So I'm, I'm not going to spoil too much, but I, I feel like there's space for the shows that I'm thinking about. So, and I feel like I'm going to put them on this YouTube channel, youtube.com slash axletossc. I will be hosting them and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's not going to be stuff you've seen before. That's goal number one. It's going to be unique. It's going to be fresh. It's going to be fun. That's the goal. Where you can just watch for an hour if you feel like it. There will be a podcast link available like MP3. You can just download it on from iTunes and then hear it. You can just download and listen. It will be free to download type stuff. And then you can when you're on the car on the way to work, you can listen to it. It will be a lot of fun. So I have a lot of ideas there. Look out. going to bring on a lot of different personalities. That's the goal. And just to create cool content to push to you guys to kind of – I don't want to spoil too much, but you'll see. Just stay tuned. Look out for that. What else? That's personal projects. Um, talk about real life stuff, I guess. You want to get a little bit real? That's fine. Um, I, I, I have like 18 credits left of school to take. And it, it's, it's, it's a bit it's, – it's such a tricky thing these days. And some of y'all will know what I'm talking about. Um, you know, obviously I'm, try, I'm doing esports stuff and I'm doing some traveling 
It's my microphone. Hi, microphone. Bring it closer. Go further away. Do I want a camera? I don't know. I don't care. Stay over that. Stay over that. Over that. Um, yeah, so I have 18 credits left of school, so I'm like, like a part, it's just been a, something that's been haunting me forever. It's like, you know, you know college, right? You, you spend so much time on it and you just want to finish kind of a thing. So it's like, that's always bothering me in the back of my mind. Um, and I'm trying to make esports stuff happen. Like I'm trying to do everything I can to, to get out there and go to events and stuff. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, it's such a new industry. It's, it's hard to find a lot of security in esports, at least for me these days. So it, it's tough. And, and, you know, having conversations with, you know, yeah, we're getting real here. Having conversations with my family and stuff, it's like um, just trying to make the right decision for me because, you know, and if y'all have feedback for me, y'all want to help too. Like, I'm all ears. Absolutely. We're friends. We're friends. Yeah. So, like, you know, I'll have conversations with, with family and whatnot about, about the best thing to do. And, and to kind of to kind of really just quickly tell this story, I, I left I left school. I left school to go to MLG to New York City to work. Um, and I had a year left. And then MLG, that, that um, interaction coordination ended. Um, and, I, you know, I was making a decision. Do I try to find another job in New York? Do I go, do I try to find a job somewhere else? And it, it ended up happening so quickly because I'm the kind of guy I want to get to the next thing as soon as possible. So... It was hard, really, to try to commit to any particular uh, to any company. Like I kind of, I kind of had like kind of passive conversations with various companies, but you know, it's a situation where I'm still, tr I'm still trying to f establish my absolute passions, not only what I'm good at, but what I, what will fulfill my soul at the end of the day, right? As far as if you're talking about going to work and doing something for eight hours or something, what, what's that fulfilling thing going to be for me? You know, wh where's that perfect fit for me? And that that's like one of the hardest things to find. The good news is once you find it, it's obviously it's one of the biggest decisions of your lifetime and it will define your life. It absolutely will. So I'm staying patient in that regard. But, you know, I was making that decision. Do I go do something? I ended up moving back to Texas. My twin sister actually moved into my apartment in New York City. And, that, and she's actually still there right now. And this was like a year ago, last November. So last November, I moved back to Texas, and I went to school again. So while reapplying to Texas A&M University, I took community college classes at a, a place called Lone Star College in Texas. It's a community college system. Just get some, some more credits and not waste time or whatever. Did that for six months, and it was really painful. Oh, my God, it was painful because, you, you know, you go from being involved and interacting and stuff to just sitting in a chair and listening to a professor lecture about stuff that might be dated, right? It's like in esports and in, in the internet and in video games, and this is such a new industry and it's still growing in digital marketing and YouTube and Twitch and Twitter and Facebook. Like all this stuff is so new age that it's to really learn everything you need to learn about it, it's not necessarily a school environment. And that's kind of where I am. So I had a lot of like battles in my mind on, you know, what what's the right thing to do here? So I ended up doing that, going to class, you know, trying to knock it out of the way. Um, and then that, I finished that, so I got 15 more credits. So now at this very moment, I'm 18 credits away. Um, but I decided to move to Atlanta from Texas because of this, this thing right here. This thing right here. So big focus of mine, and I, I, I know I made the right decision because I'm having a lot of fun with it, and I feel like it's going to be really good, and I feel like a lot of the people in the scene are going to appreciate it, and I feel like it'll be very good for esports as a whole and for the StarCraft II scene as a whole. And I'm also, you know, traveling, doing some work. I did MLG, doing Red Bull, stuff like that. So, you know, not regretting my decision at all. But again, we're getting real here. Back of my mind is always like, okay, I'm, I'm literally four months from graduating. Is this the time where I just move away from esports for four months and just go finish, right? It's a very hard decision to make, and I'm, I'm battling with it every day. So... Um, and a lot of people are like, why don't you just do it from where you are right now and do it online? The thing with Texas A&M, there's a residency requirement. So you actually have to take the classes at the campus. So that involves moving back to College Station. And then obviously, you know, that costs money too. So it's like um, moving back for four months. And then, you know, that's kind of away from everything else that I'm working on. So that's just something that's going through my mind. Wanted to share that a little bit. I, I, I think I'm getting close to making my decision. Um, but that's definitely a decision I have to make uh, pretty darn soon. So... You know, that's that's lurking. That's lurking there. Still have a lot of conversations about that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I did that, I'd have to, you know, in like a month, go back to go back to school and then finish by December. Major communication, minor journalism, kids, finish school, 
Your education is important. If an opportunity comes around, then you can consider that's kind of what happened with me. I was focusing on school. Opportunities start presenting itself. I took those opportunities, and I think that's fine. I think I made the right decisions, but obviously these decisions have to be made. So, um, you know, stay in school, establish your passions, you know, all that good stuff. Realness. The realness is real. Okay, cool. Is that all I wanted? Is that all I wanted to talk about? Is that all? Is that all I wanted to talk about? Let me look at my handy dandy notebook. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, I'm working on a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff in the pipeline. Having a lot of fun. Talk about girls. Should we talk about girls? No. <laughs> um, I'm traveling a lot, so... Stay tuned on Twitter. I guess, and if we're in the same city, let's hang out. How about that? That'll work. Is that all I want to talk about? What do you all want to talk about? We're 20 minutes through. That was a good 20 minutes, 21 minutes. I'm just trying to, like, look around me and look for clues. Oh, my voice just got much louder. Voice just got much louder. Um, I guess kind of what I want to do, I don't know. Um, I think we're done. Alex, why are you rambling? Alex, stop rambling. You're wasting my time. I'm trying to watch and get some info from you or trying to be interested in your vlog. But now you're just rambling again. And I'm not, you know, I'm not feeling fulfilled in watching this because, you know, you're wasting my time right now. I could edit this and just splice all that out, but we're being real. I'm just, like, looking around, trying to remind myself of anything else I want to talk about. I think that was pretty good. That was fun. Should we do a reflection on the reflection? Because the vlog was a reflection of... And then I could reflect about the... Now I'm just wasting time. Call your mom. Call your mom and your grandparents right now. Do it. And I'm going to go now. Thanks for watching. This has been a vlog. If you like it, you know, maybe put a comment. If you want to follow me on Twitter, that's cool too. Twitter.com slash AxelToss. AxelToss when you're streaming. When my schedule gets... I want to stream. I do... A focus is going to be these these shows, though, which I want to push on YouTube. And, I, and since I've said it, I kind of have to do it now. And I want to do it. It's something I want to do. So look out on YouTube. As far as the stream is concerned, that's something that's in the pipeline. I kind of want to do that. I really do. I think it'd be a lot of fun. There's a lot of little tricky dimensions there that I don't want to get into right now. Cool. That's it? I think that's it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this was as enjoyable for you as it was for me. I'm going to go now. And remember, if you have any questions, throw them in the comments below, and I'll include them potentially in my next vlog. I don't know when my next vlog is going to be. Actually, I could probably throw a date out there. How about next week? Should we do it weekly? Why not? Let's do it more weekly. I think that's good. Is that fair? I think that's fair. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe on YouTube if you like the stuff. And, you know, follow me on all my social medias. If you want to support me, that's probably the best thing you can do. And, of course, you can email me if you just want to talk. If you're working on stuff, you know, I don't have a jillion amount of time but i love replying to emails and helping you guys out too if you have stuff on your mind you just want to talk or you have some ideas that you want to throw at me and i'll we can exchange you know thoughts and stuff because that's productive and it's fun so that's axel toss at hotmail.com axel period toss at hotmail.com sick that's all i got guys thanks for watching see you next time